it's cookie class prep day. So I have two cookie classes in the next week and I need to make some transfers in advance. I'm gonna do those first before I make any of the cookies or the icing for the class. So let's make some transfers. That's my toast. He's making me a latte. So normally I make my transfers on the trays for my dehydrator, but since I'm making like more than 50 of each transfer, I'm going to make them on my baking trays. They won't go in the dehydrator, they'll just air dry and I can make more on each individual tray. So I have my transfer templates printed out. I need to make some strawberries and little daisies and I'm just going to place these on to the baking trays. And then I'm going to put some tape on each of these just so that they stay in place. I'm going to take my parchment paper sheets and then place it on top of each of those templates. We've got our colors prepared. I made more than I needed, but I'm probably going to use the excess when I make my icing for the class, which I'll need to make a lot of icing for that. So the more icing, the better. And here's a look at all of the trays with the templates ready to go for icing. Whoa. Okay. I forget that that one doesn't have soft clothes. Alright, this one does Jeez, I need some of them. You rock my tats. And then once all of the daisies are piped, I go in with some yellow icing and add a dot right in the middle of each of the petals. Now we have our first tray of transfers complete. So we're gonna move on to the little baby daisies next. All right, so I have both sizes of the daisies done. The little daisies were so small, I had my glasses on. I was getting like a little crop side when I was making those. Um, so now we have to do our strawberries, which I saved the longest ones to make for last. I have to do two trays of these. I'm thinking it's gonna be like two minutes per transfer to do these, maybe a little bit longer. So it's gonna definitely take me probably like two hours to complete these so this will be the rest of my afternoon and then once I have my strawberries done I'll be done with transfer prep for my cookie class which is great so that's one step off the list you are getting ahead of the game now and then Sunday Monday is all cookie class prep I have a private class on Tuesday I have a class following that on Saturday so I'll prep for that after the class on Tuesday, but my mom is visiting in between those days. So I'm trying to get as much as I can done ahead of her visit. Um, lots of fun stuff. Summer always means like work and play integrated. It's all about balance. So 
let's get these strawberries done so that I can call it a day. And if you're wondering why I am making the transfers ahead of time and not having my students make them, it's just because of time constraints. I only have two hours for each class, so I don't have enough time to have the students make the transfers, have enough time for them to dry, and then go over basically an entire transfer lesson. It would probably take 30 minutes of the class plus all the dry times. So I don't have the time for that in these classes, unfortunately. So I am making them ahead of time so they will have them at their stations when they arrive to class. And then when it's time to add these details on, they'll be able to just put them on kind of like big sprinkles. And if anything, it's fun for them. I'll still kind of cover in the class how you make transfers. Like I'll discuss with them the whole process of making them and all that stuff. They just won't be able to do it hands on. Um, but I do have a transfer guide. So if they're interested in learning about transfers, they can always download my digital guide. It has tons of templates that aren't specific to the class. So if they were to go ahead and make cookies on their own time, like for Halloween coming up or anything like that, I have tons of transfers like little ghosts and pumpkins and bats and all that kind of stuff. So they can totally download my digital guide after class. If they're feeling inspired after class, they'll have tons of resources on my website to learn more from. But yeah, that's basically why I am making the transfers ahead of time. So right now I am just going through and outlining all of the strawberries. They all don't have to be the same. They're all kind of different. I'm just trying to make them relative in size. And the first step right here is outlining and then I'll go in and fill them in. And then after all of the strawberries are filled in, I'll go in and add the stems on top of all of them. And then once the red part of the strawberry is fully dry, I'll then go in afterwards with the last step, adding the little yellow seeds on top as a little detail. And now we're going in and flooding those outlined areas on our strawberries. So in class, one of the designs is a strawberry cookie, so they'll still be able to decorate a full strawberry on their own. They just won't be making the little transfer. But this transfer is basically just a little version of the cookie that they'll be decorating in class. And now that the strawberries have crusted over, I'm going in with my green icing now and I'm adding a stem on each of the strawberries. And then I'll also add all of the little leaves so I do two little leaves next to the stem and then I pipe some more leaves on top of the strawberry itself. Adds like a lot of dimension and makes it look super cute. And then after adding the leaves, the next step is taking the yellow icing and I add little seeds onto each of the strawberries. This is the most time consuming part of the process. They're just like teeny tiny little dots or lines and I kind of just vary the pattern on each of the strawberries and yeah so that is the process of making the strawberry transfers and i'm all done all right so i got all my transfers done for the day got all four trays done but i can wrap up for the day so here are all the transfers that we made today and then we got the little baby daisies and then the regular bigger daisies and that's it. 
done for the day.